What's up, Wink Sound? This is Kevin. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of automation. I'm going to show you how to set automation points and how to record automation. So check it out. So we have a couple different options um, as far as manipulating our linear timeline here in the arrangement view. As you can see, I have some automation breakpoints set up on this loop. And uh, you have a different couple different options as far as which way you want to set these automation points. Uh, in this case, I use the pencil tool to draw it. And it's pretty straightforward that way. It'll just follow whatever you draw. Um, another way is you can double click each point to either make a point or break one. And uh, you can do it that way. If you want to clear the envelope, you can either highlight it and right click and cut envelope or you can whatever you're selected on you just click clear envelope now that won't clear everything that'll just clear whatever you have selected in your chooser window so let me just show you the different ways you double click to set up a point and Ableton will set a linear connection between those two. So let's listen to what that sounds like. So as you can see in my sub chooser window I have volume and uh, that loop gets gradually louder as it goes. Now in your chooser window you have options in your mixer. You can go panning, volume, or send options. Or you can whatever effect you have on that particular track. For instance I have a filter on this string track. So I have a bandpass set up. And uh, let's say I wanted to do a filter sweep. I click on that whatever parameter I want to manipulate and as you can see the automation lines will change according to what you do and I just want it to sweep gradually so I'll pencil that in I could do it like that or I can simply double click set up a point double click set up another point bring it up So let's listen to what that sounds like. And uh, you, can, you also have options as far as if you want to copy automation. So let's say I wanted the drum volume to sound to correspond with this filter sweep. You have to highlight it, you right click, make sure you select copy envelope. Go to where you want it to start and you paste whatever envelope you're, you're working with here. Whoops. Make sure you, your point is where you want it to start and paste it in. You can always get in touch with Kevin at winksound.com as well as watch more of Kevin's videos including these titles featuring Ableton Live, now available on demand at winksound.com.